Hi guys, so recently we've been seeing a whole bunch of bleach and tie-dye hacks around the internet, and today we're going to be trying so many of them for ourselves. Look at all of this. There's so many. <laughs> and we want to try these on shorts, shirts, hats, sh I already said shorts, tote bags, <laughs> hoodies. <laughs> God dang it. And that's it. And that's it. We don't want to start with the more expensive items right away. We're going to start with this $2 tote bag that we found because I don't care too much about it. Exactly. It's like, it's low stakes. Yeah. Now, a lot of these ideas you might notice are around stamps. So we got all sorts of different stamps. We have foam stamps. We have sponge stamps. We have rubber stamps. And we have stencils. Yeah. Now, one reason mm. that we decided to try a bunch of stamp and stencil related hacks is because the last time we did this, I tried to do stencils with my bleach dye. We had these little resin hearts. I tried to put them on the shirt and spray bleach on them. It did not work. It, it didn't it, work at all. To, to me, it looks like, like a pig's stomach, sort of. <laughs> you know, that's like the vibe I get. So we want to redeem ourselves. Hopefully, stamps are the way to go to get precise patterns onto the clothes. Exactly. So let's set all of this aside for now. Which one are you most excited to try? I am really excited to try the um, the sponge stamps. Sponge stamps. Yeah. Okay, yeah. All right, let's get these foam ones out of the way. I, I think that they have a high likelihood of working. Yes. I'm pretty sure they're gonna work, but they may not be precise. They may have like fuzzy edges. Yeah. But I'm still going to try. Can you hand me one of the trays? Trays. Tray. One of these trays? Oh, these trays. Yeah, the little ones. Yeah. <laughs> Do you think the intro was okay even though I kind of watched it? I loved it. Okay. It was genuine. Okay. Because <laughs> you, yeah, I think the thing that messed you up is you wanted to say tote bags. I did say tote bags. No, no, but you, you wanted to say tote bags separately. But you said tote bags <laughs> yeah. in the initial list and yeah, got you like, I did. <laughs> sorry. Can you hand me some of that? Uh, um, Delicious this, uh, drink. Yeah. <laughs> what do you think about my graphic design work? I like it. Yeah, I, uh, I, I designed that all by myself. Mm -hmm. This is called 50-50. It's new energy drink. <laughs> <laughs> it's 50% water and 50% bleach. And it'll leave you feeling real energized. Real tired, I think. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so we, we, we have a bottle of this because we just want to pour in a small amount of the time and then refresh it as needed. There you go, a thin little layer. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to need that. Yeah, we don't want the sponges to get too soaked. Um, because otherwise it's just going to bleed out yeah. no, and be an imprecise blob again. No, do we want to show, I know we showed like the full batch of... Um, <clears throat> inspiration but it was a little chaotic do we want to show one example of sponges of the sponges we don't have to we can just keep going if you yeah i mean i can just uh here let me just turn on a few because we I, there's so many cool people doing it yeah. um i'll just try these two so you can see here you just soak a sponge in bleach you pop it on boop 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 you can even cut them into different sizes and shapes, mm -hmm. and um, it, it leads to a really cool effect. So, yeah, like a nice fuzzy edge effect. So that's yeah. what we're going for. All right. Okay. Do you want to put a cardboard I do. under it? I do. I kind of, I think like inside layers. of it to yeah. separate. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that a good size? Yeah. Well, no. <laughs> I have um, smaller pieces that I can layer. Okay. And I also have that giant pack of all sorts. Yeah, but that's that's the good cardboard. That's project cardboard. Here, hold one of these. All right. I think this should be just fine. All right. Yeah, this will totally work. Yeah. Yeah, so we got these in a five pack on Amazon. Um, they're 100% cotton. The higher cotton content you have, the more the, the bleach will take effect because Synthetic fibers don't really work the best for bleaching. Which is what we learned last time we did this, and we tried it on my skinny jeans. Didn't work. Didn't work. Didn't work at all. All right, do you want to write something out, or do you want to try one of these, uh, look at all these different uh, <laughs> various animal-like things? Like, what, what are some of these? Okay, this is either a hand or a turkey. <laughs> Gingerbread man or 
Patrick from Ooh, SpongeBob. Lion, lion. Oh, don't want to splash the bleach. Lion. This is a dinosaur. Definitely. This is a spider. It is. This a is a weird derpy heart. What is this? It's a fish. A fish? Oh, I thought it was like an angel or like a tulip. This is a foot. Ooh. Butterfly. Foot picks, everybody. Uh, flower. Are we Elephant. Just, are we going through the whole thing? I guess we're going through the whole thing. You know, just show the options, just in case we want a jalapeno. <laughs> <laughs> so random. And what's this? A tree? It's a, a broccoli, mushroom? acorn? An acorn? A dreidel? <laughs> okay. Let's go ahead and get the split top down set up. There we go. I'm going to try um, the star. All right. Let me just get all these out on the way. We also have these just like... Uh, round ones that we can cut up or do whatever with. Yeah. And let me um, real quick get this crop sorted out. Ooh, or should I just, to try a variety, maybe I should just do like bugs or flowers or jalapenos. Whatever, whatever calls to you, baby. What calls to you? Feet. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> just like... Footprint. It's just too, or I could flip it over. <laughs> That'd be so cheesy. Yeah, if you want to start with footprints, go for it. I'm just gonna try a variety. This is just yeah. like a, a, a test. This is a test. This is gonna be our like waste board. You know what I mean? Yeah. So let's yeah. let's try a foot. I'm just gonna like barely dip it in. Yes. Yeah, so this is like a light coating of bleach. Yeah, light coating. You're not like pushing it in and soaking it up and squeezing no, it no, or anything no. like that. And I'm kind of shaking it off. So I just want to use this to test like. Yeah. You know how much how much pressure, how much bleach. So let's see. I see in the videos they kind of go like this. Should I lift it? Yeah. Oh, that was bad. I think it needs more. Um, I think it needs let, more. Let me get the mobile cam um, up and running. You can you can soak it again. Um, <laughs> but I, from this angle, let me go ahead and. It's definitely uh, bad. I'm glad we're starting on the cheap tote bags. It's real bad. It's real bad. Yeah. Whoop. 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 Uh oh, there you go. All right. Yeah, so you see that? That the, isn't what we want. It, we just got the back of the foot. We got no detail. No toes. Of the front. Yeah. Yeah, no toes so at all. So we got to fix that. I'm soaking this in. I'm going to squish it a little bit. Let's try another. All right. We'll try this one first. All right, go for it. And I'll show how it, the result looks. Squeeze the toes. Squeeze those toes a little bit. Squeeze those toes. Okay, I'm really like Hold pushing up. down. Okay, that one was good. Ooh, ooh, yeah, let me look. Yeah, yeah. see? There's little, you can see the exact shape of the little pointy toes. <laughs> All right. Okay. That's pretty good. Yeah, I'm gonna. Should we just put the used ones like bleach side up? Yeah. You know? Yeah, I think so. I don't wanna, I don't wanna do a ton. I'm gonna try one with like these little holes to see if it can um, capture that level of detail. I don't think so. My guess is that it won't, but who knows? Yeah. Do you wanna try? No, no, you go for it. Okay. I think I got it. Oh. Okay, you ready? Ready. This is gonna be such a beautiful tote bag. Such an assortment of designs. Two feet and a dragonfly so far, like, mm. high fashion. Okay. Yeah, definitely. It didn't really get the hole. Oh, it kind of got the holes a little bit. I wanted to like bring a flashlight in here to like show you guys the yeah. reflection. Yeah. So like. It got the holes a little bit. It got it a little bit. Yeah. There you I go. think the less detailed designs will probably end up doing better. Yeah. Um, we should also keep an eye on the time because you're not supposed to leave bleach on fabric for more than 15 minutes. I'll set a timer. <laughs> for 10. Yeah. But I'm also like. I'm a little worried. Because well, when we've not... done bleach dyeing in the past, 
I feel like, especially on 100% cotton things, you saw the change happening immediately. And I see zero change. <gasps> you know one thing we didn't do? What? We didn't wash any of these. You're supposed to pre-wash them all. Grab, no, but then we, we want them dry because otherwise everything will leak. Things will leak. We were supposed to wash them. We were supposed to wash them all. You know, mine is washed because it's something that I've worn. Should I wash and dry the others while you do that? Do your shirt, your t-shirt. Do you want to do any practice on this? So you can still get a feel for how different things. Yeah, why don't you, <laughs> why don't you throw all of that in the wash right now? And hope it's dry in time. And hope it's dry in time. Okay, just guys. Do, just do a quick wash and a quick dry. Okay, laundry montage, laundry montage. <laughs> I'll keep the test going. I think that we have a little bit of a vibe for the, um, <laughs> did you get sweaty or not? <laughs> no, 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 I'm muting, I'm muting myself, okay, I'm muting okay. myself. <laughs> I think that we got a decent vibe for how the sponges work. I think that they work pretty well. Now specifically, one thing I want to test before we move on for the, from the sponges, I think we got some good shape tests. I want to test a letter because Eventually, I think I want to do like a chaos um, hoodie or chaos something. Chaos shirt. Like the stream isn't chaotic enough. <laughs> so I want to be testing this right now. So you kind of like squeeze it a little bit down. I'm going to do it slightly different than Caitlin. <laughs> I'm just going to like put it all the way in there and squeeze it and soak up a good amount of bleach. And then that way, when I set it down, I don't need to push as hard. Make sure it's not dripping. I'm gonna put down that P. Just squish it around a little bit. Lift it. Oh, that didn't work at all. But again, you know, it could be partially because a lot of these cotton things are treated with a, what are they treated with? Like something to prevent water from st st sticking. Do you want me to leave some of the tote bags unwashed? No. Okay. Yeah, because like I'm literally trying to draw right now with, with uh, all the bleach that's on there. And it's just not sticking. It's like repelling. So you really have to kind of like work it in there in order for it to absorb. And um, <laughs> it's called sizing and it's like starch. Okay, so we're gonna work on that for a little bit. Yeah, I do have bleach on my end. I kind of like dried it off like this. What have you been touching? <laughs> I don't know. Oh, no. Things, <laughs> <laughs> buttons, and oh, stuff. Gosh. Quick you know, wash will be quicker than hand washing, cause it's uh oh gosh, it's 25 minutes. <laughs> Full chaos recording, and Evan keeps touching things with bleach gloves. The bag is changing. Uh, it's not I changing. I don't think so. Here, I think me, it might just me, be a glare. It's not changing at let me all. Switch though. to the PTZ. Here it is. Yeah, it's not changing. I could. Well, well, you chat. I could look through our clothes and see if there's an, like, you know, like the, 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 the clothes that we have already washed once, see if there's like a black shirt that we don't mind contributing to the cause. And just skip the tote bags all together? Skip the tote bags all together. Now we can still tote bag some of those. Tote bag some of those? Huh? Do tote bags before some of those? Sorry, yeah, we, we like, you know, if, if we want to test Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. It's okay. We, we might need to do some editing of this that goes up onto the uncut. No, it's fine. Uncut, uncut people, they're, they're cool. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I think what we should do is I'm going to go to the closet. I'm going to look through and see if there's like a black shirt that I don't mind testing on. We can test on that. And then once the laundry is done, we'll use whatever we want to use in the time remaining. This is like 
This is like the, uh, the, the very last uncut that we did. The squeegee art. The squeegee art where we didn't have paper that worked. And we just freaked out. <laughs> that happens every uncut stream. <laughs> this, you know what's funny though? Huh. The last time we did bleach dyeing, this also happened because we didn't wash everything. No. Yeah, so no. we should have learned. <laughs> We need, to, we need to make a cheat sheet for ourselves of like, if you're about to do a bleach dye stream, this is what you should do. I thought we had it. We did. <laughs> we, didn't, we didn't listen to all the steps or that wasn't on there maybe. <laughs> that wasn't on there. Oh boy, see this is what happens when you don't have a production team and you're left to your own devices. Prank time. Oh, it's time to prank him. Um, oh my gosh, there's so many things I could do. Ah, uh, there's so many more opportunities when we're in the craft room. <clears throat> I want to write something in blue tape. Let's see if he, if he notices this. I'm keeping it simple, guys. I don't know how long I have till he comes back. Yeah, I'm panicking. Okay. See if he notices my secret message, my super sneaky, super sneaky secret message. What else can I do? I have blue tape, so there's a lot of opportunities. I keep thinking I hear him, but it's just the, the washing machine. Reorganize the letters. Oh, down here, E, F, G, H, I. If I also just, that doesn't make sense. <laughs> tape his keyboard together. I could put tape over his keyboard, how about that? Oh, when he comes back, everyone say hi in chat. Juby, did you hear the tape, baby? Did you hear the tape? Okay, everybody. Time for Juby. Where'd you go? There you are. Hi, yeah, why is the floor covered in plastic? Is it because we don't trust ourselves to not make a mess? Sweet girl, how are you? Yeah, big human's jacket? Mm-hmm. Are you gonna make that your bed? Let's see where she goes. Oh, hi. <laughs> it was, uh, oh, hi. <laughs> oh, hi. Prank. Very nice. Thank you. Very Thank you. nice. I love that. <laughs> should, I, should I leave it up? No, you can take it down. <laughs> I just feel bad like taking down your beautiful art that you I made. did. I put a lot of time into it, a lot of yeah. time and effort. Yeah. And then I got distracted by Juby. Of course. Yeah, you know. That's how things go. Yeah. She's real good yeah. at that. All right, ready to resume for the... Let me film you coming in. All right. I'll switch to mobile cam. Yeah. <laughs> ready? Yeah. So, instead of waiting 25 minutes for everything to wash and, and dry. And another 30 for drying. I figured I should donate a very used and loved shirt. <gasps> this is one of the classics with the uh, logo on the side. You want to donate that? It's a little tight. Oh. <laughs> and it doesn't stretch too much. Okay, that's <laughs> one of the old ones. It's one of the old ones, yeah, before we switch to the new, the new, the new uh, provider. So we're so, now going to use this for our testing instead yes. of the cheap tote bags. Yeah, because it's been 20 minutes now on this and I'll, I'll switch it over. 
You, you can see it's wet, but no change has been made. Whoop. Yep. Whoop. No change whatsoever, despite 50-50 water bleach solution on there for like a decently long period of time. I was gonna do the Whoop. flashlight. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, no change. No change. Okay, so we have a new uh, mm. test piece yeah. in the form of an old words are hard shirt. Get out a of here, classic. tote bag. You're dead to me. Well, let's start on the back. Just so that we can like add, yeah, add some fun stuff. I also, I was gonna like toss this and I realized it is actively dripping in bleach. Hmm. So, set that off I'm to the side. I'm gonna put it here. Yeah. And that is just fine. fine. That's fine. That's fine. It was a $2 mistake. <laughs> Do you wanna grab one of the thicker cardboards? I will. Water? Yeah. I'd love to. <laughs> Wait. What? Oh, yeah. I was like, my, my, my mic's on. Okay, good. Whew. <laughs> It's fine. It's fine. We're all fine. It's fine. We're all good. We're great. That's fine. Yep. Am I good or what on my cardboard cutting? Oh, yeah, baby. Perfect size for Perfect Evan's size. shirts. All right. Let's oh, the handheld camera it keeps cutting out. That's good to know. Like the audio cutting out or the no, no, it, it oh, going black? It, go, yeah. it goes black. Why? I'm not sure why. why? If we knew... We'd fix it. We don't know. I mean, I could swap transmitters and receivers real quick. Did you change it up in some way? No, mm -hmm. but there are, there are more. I could swap them. Yeah. I'll just use the PTZ for, for showing off, um, you know, the, the yeah. highlights and stuff like that. Oh, hey, you taped up the keyboard too. <laughs> <laughs> Now that this is your shirt, and there's still a small chance you might wear this. Yeah, what, there's a small chance. What test piece would you like on there? Should we, you want some feet? Um, let's do hearts. Okay. Yeah, I'd like that. Do you want to switch to uh, top down? Yep. Split top? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Okay. The shirt's so much bigger than the tote bag. It's so large and voluptuous. <laughs> it's a voluptuous shirt, baby. <clears throat> Okay, get off the drips. This is... All right. I feel more pressure to make it work now that it's one of your actual shirts, even though I know you're okay sacrificing it. Let's do the reveal. You got a flashlight? Yep, go for it. Hey. hey! It's, I mean, it transferred. It looks like a blob, kind of. Hey, but th th that's the shape of the. That's the shape of it, part. though. You know what I mean? Yeah. So it worked pretty well, and it soaked in so much better, and more like evenly. In this shirt. In this shirt, because it's been stripped from all the preservatives of. Whatever. Whatever. Yeah. Okay. Cool. New clothes things. Um, I'll yeah. try a. Why don't you try a, why don't you try a letter? Oh yeah, something skinny. Um, try Let me a put C. An e. This is gonna be hard because it's 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 floppy too. Oh yeah. You know what I mean? I was like, oh no, am I doing it backwards? But then I was like, it's a C. <clears throat> it doesn't matter. Yeah. <laughs> Cut out a better heart from the round sponge. We could. Yeah. We yeah. So we have some raw sponges right here that we can cut ourselves. Yeah. Because it's good to know like. And I have a whole bag. It's... I have six more of them. Oh, nice. If, if we want. I dripped. That's okay. It's part of the organic nature of uh, bleach dyeing and yes. tie dyeing. Yes. The organic nature. And that's probably good. Ready? Mm-hmm. There you go. Wow. Really sharp. Yeah. Really crisp. Look at that. Yeah. We're getting there. We're getting there. I do think it would look more like a C if the opening was bigger. You know, that's kind of a... You can kind of hold it open. Or just cut it, you know? Yeah, or just cut it, yeah. Mm -hmm. um, do you want to try something yeah. or do you want to try one of the other techniques? I want to try one of the other techniques. Yeah. Let's try foam stamps. Now, how compatible is foam with bleach? Will it start dissolving things? That's a great question. 
We'll find out. <laughs> Maybe we'll dip this in the uh, hydrogen peroxide afterwards to neutralize it. Should we do that with the sponges? Yeah, sponges can rot. <laughs> well, we'll do. We'll, we'll clean them in hydrogen peroxide at the end of the day. Okay. How about that? Okay. I don't want to do it like individually for every single one. My gosh. <laughs> okay. All right. So let's go to the top split right here. I'm just gonna doop, dip that in. What letter did you choose? C. Oh, C again. All right. Ready? <laughs> yeah. I'm just gonna squeeze that down. We'll bring out the uh, flashlight. Check. Ready? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh, it did not soak it up as well. Yeah, that didn't work at all. So yeah. this would work for paint. Oh yeah, look at this. Look at that. Yeah. It's just running off. It's not absorbing. It's not... Um... Yeah, it's not soaking in. Here, can you move the flashlight back a little bit? Sorry. Can you see that? It's... um. It's not working well at all. Yeah, so the foam ones might be a no-go. Foam, I think, is a no-go. Foam is not good for what we are intending to do here today. Do you guys hear little footsteps? Because that's a little Juby. Juby. She just came over and gave me a head rub. Hello. Hi, Juby. Hi, Thank you. Guys. All right, so <laughs> you know what's sad? The most expensive supply in all of this was this set of <laughs> Letters back here because <laughs> they have the nice handle. They have the plastic. I was really excited about these. I was these. really excited about these. I was like, man, this is so smart. This is I, a big brain. I thought it would be like so much more precise than the sponges. Yeah, I thought but it so just, too. They're impermeable. They're impermeable. Yeah, this isn't open celled foam enough. I guess not. I guess not. Yeah. Well, the <laughs> next the next product we have is even less permeable, but we've seen people do it. We've do you seen wanna, people do it. Do you want to pull up the examples? Yeah. Okay. The, so. the next, the next material that we want to test is actually rubber stamps, which like when I first heard that, I was like, I feel like this isn't going to work, but we've seen people do it. Yeah. Look at that. These are rubber stamps and they're stamping and look at, look at how fast they're uh, bleaching. Now, one thing that I'm thinking of now, hopefully these start changing soon, but if they don't, do you just want to move to straight bleach? And because, not dilute it 50-50? And not dilute it 50-50. I, I wonder because we're putting a smaller amount on very precisely. Mm -hmm. I wonder if that reduces the amount of bleach in there. We could try full bleach. Yeah. We did 50-50 in the past. We have some people in the chat saying rubber stamps might be best. Isn't there mm -hmm. gel bleach? Mm -hmm. So we could always try gel bleach, bleach in the future with mm -hmm. these. You know, we don't have any gel bleach right now. But we can try the stamps and then maybe we try everything with um, the full strength bleach. Yeah, yeah. We'll just use that. like ones that were okay. Like use like a foam thing you don't like. Yeah. Just in case it fully dissolves it. Yeah. All right. Let's do it. Okay. What rubber stamp do you want to test out? Paw print. Here. So, so Evan bought some rubber stamps. I know why you're choosing the paw print. It's because it's the only one that is a significant size. Would you guys like to see the size of the other rubber stamps Evan bought? <laughs> no, don't, no, don't make fun of them. <laughs> they, are, they are this big. I mean, how cute is that though? Oh, Look at all the cats. Look at all the cats. They're cute. I love the thought. They are very small. I didn't look at the listing. I didn't look at the listing enough. I didn't look at the listing. I was like, hey, cat stamps. Here, 12 you, bucks? You let's, try, let's get it. Let's get it. You try this one? I'll try this one. <laughs> oh, guys, come on. I tried my best. <laughs> Great set, though. Yeah, maybe we can use them in the future for other, like, actual ink related <laughs> things. <laughs> and thus the craft supplies grow. Okay, I'm gonna. I, I want to try this little one. Okay. I'll go to the top split. Cool. And where are you going to be applying it? I'll do it. Can you point? Yeah. Right here. All right. I was just getting the PTZ lined up. All right. Ready? Ready. I tried to move kind of. I wobbled. Uh oh. I tried right. to move. 
tried to move kind of quickly and I'm pressing down a bit. Yeah, all right, lift. Mm -hmm. That, that does not look, it does not look It looks look like, like a wet blob. It does not look like a cat. You know, let's try the paw print. I think these are just a little too tiny to work. <laughs> I think it's just too, too detailed. <laughs> Let's try the paw print. All right, here, you hold this. I'm just gonna do a little boop. Yeah, a little bit boop. Let me do the split. Again, I'm just gonna show show this off. Um, again, like I don't know how people are doing this because, like, look at look at the, how the bleach is distributed on this stamp. There's just like a few dots here and yeah, there. Yeah, it's like how are people doing it? How are people doing it? Because like, in the videos we watched on the social media platforms, because because who would lie about that? Who would lie? Why would, would they lie? We're not going to accuse anyone of lying. No, no, okay. <laughs> they might maybe have different stamps than we do, but look at that. Sanding at first? We could try sanding. Sanding the rubber? Yeah. Like increase the vis like increase how things stick to it. Anyways, I'll go ahead and do it. Ready? Mm -hmm. There you go. I'm stamping. We're stamping, people. We're stamping. Ready? Mm-hmm. No. There's nothing. No, no, no defined shape, no distinct shape at all. I think maybe I see one bean. Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. Painting it on? I don't think so. I think it's just not sticky enough. I think the idea of gel bleach could make it work, but but the video we saw did not use gel bleach. So yeah. there is a way to do this without. Do you want some sandpaper? Let's let's look at this again. You can see they're just stamping it. Also, chat wants you to not touch your face with your bleachy gloves. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they just stamp it back and forth. But they pour bleach in the beginning of the video. They, they, they pour they pour liquid bleach, especially look at this this one on the, in the center of us with the brown shirt. Yeah, it's that's pouring bleach. bleach. We could try sanding. We could try sanding. I will get some sandpaper. Okay. And I'm gonna show you guys who visited us again. She Guess who really it is? really wants in. It's Juby. And the thing is not connecting. <laughs> it, there we go. It's Juby. Do you want to be led into the bathroom? She's been like swiping on it. Hi. Are you mad because there's, there's extra plastic wrap in your corner that you usually go to to nap in? <laughs> <laughs> it still flickers like every like five seconds or so. Can you change to the main camera? Yeah. All right, guys. I have 150, 240, 320, 400, and 600 grit sandpaper. I think I'll start with uh, 400 grit sandpaper, and we'll see uh, we'll see what difference that makes on the surface finish. Mm -hmm. So I'll go ahead and get a close in view right here. I was going to say, I can also mobile cam, but I think the PTZ is better yeah. right now. Yeah. Hi. Uh, He's so So nice. here is the surface right now, generally pretty shiny. I'm just going to try roughing it up just a little bit. All right. More important thing is going on up here. I'll just show you what surface finish it ends up looking like. It should be, we're, we're sanding a, saw, a paw print. You like those beans? They're not as good well, as your beans. I'm not going to hold it up to her because she no. might like lick the bleach. No, we keep her over here. She's purring. I wonder if the mic can pick it up. Maybe, but it might just also pick up the, the washing machine furiously trying to like wash the clothes that we forgot to wash. <laughs> <laughs> I hear it going. It's like... Yeah, that quick dry, quick wash. 
for when your clothes are just a little bit dirty or you're in the middle of a craft stream where you need to wash clothes mm -hmm. and you forgot. Mm -hmm. All right. So here's what it looks like now that it's sanded. You can definitely tell like it's rougher edges and everything like that. Mm -hmm. So hopefully that clings to the bleach better. I feel like that has a better shot of working. <clears throat> also, I'm looking over here at the areas that we've already um, stamped with the 50-50 mix. And I don't think that those are bleaching too fast. Which makes me wonder like, this is 90% cotton. Okay, so I think I think we need to just go straight with the straight bleach. I think we try it. I think straight bleach. For Let's science. Yeah, for science. Can you get me a new container? And just pour me a splash of straight up bleach, please. Mm -hmm. Thank you. So the one closer is the one that's pure bleach. Let's try to remember that. Yep. And our laundry will beep, beep at us once it's done. Yeah. yeah. You want a bit more? Yeah. Oh, too much. All right, that's fine. I'll just do it part way down. It was very quick between like, yeah. not enough, too much. too much. Yeah, no, I, I, I understand. That's fine. Hold on, this lid isn't on good. I'll only just go part way in. Yeah. I'll just, I'll just dip it in real, real quick. That's fine. That's fine. That's good. We're all good. I definitely smell the bleach. Well, you know, like when you pour it in the like full bleach, it definitely it's makes not a smell diluted, difference. Yeah. yeah. All right, guys. I'm gonna try with the lessons learned: sanded stamp in More the full bleach. bleach. Yeah. Now I'll stamp it right here. Let me get the. Uh, the angle pre-set up. Do you want to get your phone out for a camera? Or mm -hmm. for the flash? Light? Mm-hmm. All right. I'm just going to do a little, little dip. Okay, guys. Should I do a split top? Just a little dip right here. Plop it in right there. We plopping. All right. And now, let's see. That did work. That works. I don't know if you guys can see it. Uh, they, they just can't see it from that angle. How, how well did it work? It 100% it worked. Can you not see that? Look, the center and two, four, three, uh, four, four, four toe beans. I only see two, two toe beans. Okay, maybe only two toe beans. It worked better. It worked also, better. Also, the washer is done. Yay! <laughs> so. It worked better. Okay, I'm gonna practice a little bit. Okay to try to get, let's see if I can do it to the point where I can get four toe beans. Nope, that wasn't good. I'm gonna continue the laundry montage. Hey, you're so cute, oh my God. That wasn't great. Now, the full bleach is definitely working a lot faster than the, the diluted bleach, obviously, because of reasons. Um, so I think that like for the stamping method, we should definitely go with the full bleach. But I think overall, I'm much happier with the sponges than the rubber stamps. Let me go ahead and dip this in and look at it. See what's going on. All right, I'll show you guys. There definitely is more bleach clinging. When you switch over to here and zoom in, it is clinging to the surfaces better than it was earlier. But it's still not like the foam. Paper towels at the bottom of the bleach container would mimic an ink pad like stamps. Oh, that's interesting. That's interesting. <clears throat> I might try a little bit of a, like a stamp pad. That, that is a very interesting idea. 
So someone in chat had an interesting idea. I didn't catch their name. But I'm going to get this paper towel wet, soaking in bleach. Mm -hmm. Can you get me another uh, container? Yeah, one second. I was just I was laughing because I washed the thing inside the hat. <laughs> <laughs> Let me get the um, mobile cam before you do that. All right. Before you continue. Okay. All right. So I'm going to try stamping it like this. Man, it's really flashing a lot. Is it? All right. Let me let me try fixing it. Just uh, unplug all of the bits and plug them back in. The, the, this right here. Unplug oh. that. Anything else? Um, the top right there. Let's try that again, because it seems to have gotten worse. Yeah. <clears throat> let's, let's hang out for a little bit. Nope. All right. Let me try something else. Switch away. Sorry, guys. Channel 5. I'm going to switch to channel 5 instead. Let's see if that works better. Nope. Oh, no, no, no. I, I wasn't done yet. Oh, sorry. I need to switch it on both. Channel five, and then channel five. All right. Let's see. Hey! hey! Yeah! Channel four was too crowded. Channel four is right out. Channel five. There it okay. is. I fixed it. So explain what you're doing again. So I soaked up bleach with this paper towel. And then I'm going to press down into mm. it like a stamp, like okay. a stamp pad. Ready? Yeah. Do I see it? Do I see it? I think I see it a little bit. Is that in the pure bleach? This is in the pure bleach. Is our, is our bleach broken? I mean, I, I think, think this I see is, it. I think this is working. I think this is working a lot better. Yeah, I do think it's better. I just feel like our bleach is broken. <laughs> do, do, do we need to, guys? You know, now that I'm looking in person, not in camera, it is oranging slightly on these older ones. It is oranging slightly. Which were 50-50. Very slowly. That does seem to be working, though. Yeah. So a sanded rubber stamp. I'll try to add some light because it's just like a black void. Just like Juby. Yeah, but using like, I mean, I, I, I need to scroll back and find who that was, but I think this is working pretty well. You can like definitely see little paw prints. That's cute. All right, let yeah, me see. Yeah, you can kind of see him. See? Oh yeah, yeah, you can kind of. Yeah, that actually that does work really well. Here, um, uh, use your flashlight again. Let me do the PTZ. Can you see those little yeah, when I, when I move them. And you can see that like the initial ones are starting to bleach a little bit. Yeah. Looks like a cat walked across my t-shirt, which is just what we're aiming for. It's like when you uh, get into your car and there's little footprints on it. Yep. And you're like, oh, I've been visited. All right, well, while those continue to process and bleach, let's try something else, something a little bit more exciting. Mm. Foam rollers with patterns on them. I am very excited to see how these work. Now, my guess is you're going to have to be very light with it. Yeah. Because otherwise, it's going to soak into, like, the yellow part, and you just want it on the not yellow part, yeah. right? Yeah, so I'm going to I'm have to push very carefully and gently. Yeah. I'm just going to go ahead and do it with 100% bleach. 
Yeah. You, I want to pour a little bit out of extra. What's she looking for? Juby. I think she left. She's abandoned us in our cursed crafting pursuits. She's left us to our own devices. All right, I'm just gonna heck and soak this, so then I can just like very lightly roll it across. Yeah. Guys, I'm really excited about this. Me too. All right, let me get all the little drippies out. All right, then I'm just gonna go for it. Ready? Yeah. We. I don't think that worked at all. I don't think it did either. It just let me left my, light. Let me get my light. Hold on, guys. I'm a. Uh... There we go. It just left like a like a smear. There's just left definitely. A smear. All right, let's try it again. Yeah, cause like. It should just be like right here and right there. Come on, these are supposed to be like kids' toys. Well, maybe kids aren't using them with bleach. <laughs> you know, I don't know. I don't know. And even though the stamped footprints do show up as like wet, they're definitely not changing much. These earlier ones are changing, but it's real slow. It's real slow. Guys, does bleach like settle out? Do we need to like shake this up? Is the bleach old? I mean. It's old. But does bleach go bad? We got it like the last time we did one of these videos. We have other bottles of bleach. We have two other bottles because we kept thinking we didn't have any. Is there like an expiration date on this? If there's no expiration date listed, I don't think it expires. Yes, it breaks down. Bleach breaks down. Try another bottle. Try heating up the bleach. Try UV to cure the bleach. Oh, I can get UV. That's why those I'll, I'll TikToks a, are outside. I'll get a UV lamp. Let's try it, guys. All right, let's UV cure some bleach together. <laughs> Has the bleach stroop waffled? <laughs> <laughs> Thicket? We have thicket. We do have thicket. You try hydrogen peroxide with heat. So I know you use hydrogen peroxide to neutralize the bleach so that it doesn't keep bleaching. So we do have hydrogen peroxide here. We have some trays of it over to the side. Oh. Wait, after six months, bleach becomes 20% less expensive? Expensive. It gets less effective the older it gets after six months already. Okay, interesting. Do you want me to go grab the other bleach bottles? We have two more. Let's are try they older this first. or are they newer? I don't know. We have a, a chance that they're different. Um, yeah, who knew? Oh, this is crowded. Yes. Back here. There's one here too if you need it. All right. Okay, guys. So we are now UV curing. Our bleach. Our bleach. Yeah, why don't you get the other bottles? I feel like it won't hurt. And let's like, let's do a test. Let's, let's, let's do like a strip test <laughs> of the three different bleaches that we have and see which one is the strongest. <laughs> okay. It breaks down to salt water like. Interesting. Bleach can expire. Is this stream cursed? Yes. Do we need to wear respirators for bleach? We have some circulation going. Let's try. Um, uh, 
How long does bleach last? Six months. Six months, baby. I know that's what chat was telling me. <clears throat> Even in its original bottle, bleach becomes 20% less effective as each year goes by. Love, should I, I'm gonna bring them in. Should I bring this one too or no? No. Okay. I have two more bottles of bleach, but I don't know if they're newer or older. Let's try them out. <laughs> also, is this doing anything? <laughs> no. <laughs> this is not doing anything. The UV is doing nothing. Awesome. <laughs> this one has all sorts of crust built up around it. There's like... <laughs> Maybe that just means it's extra good. <laughs> We keep everything around for way too well, long. Well, I didn't know that bleach expires. Okay, guys, look at this. You see? Look at how crusty it is. You see that crust? This one's also crusty. Look at this crust. See right here? In here? Inner crust? So, They're both crusty. So I think these are probably older. Could the tote bag still work then? I'm looking at the tote bag. The tote bag still hasn't changed. Yeah, this has changed more than the tote bags. Try heat. Evan's always exposing you. Hey, it's not my responsibility to get rid of the bleach. <laughs> you could equally get rid of the bleach. I could. I totally could. You know what we should start doing? Labeling when we buy things. We should. I didn't know that you needed to for bleach. Uh, I thought know, it was bleach, like, you can't go back. We're learning every day, you guys. We're learning every day. We're learning every day. It's okay. Yet, if you accidentally spill year old bleach on your clothes, it ruins them. So true. Oh, probably worth noting that UV light can cause bleach to release chlorine gas, from what I remember. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Let's put the UV light away just in case. All right, do you want to unplug it? Yes. Which one is it? Two, two, two. Okay. Well, let's just do this. We have some more containers. Mm -hmm. Right here and right here, our last two containers. What we'll do is we'll put a splash of each into these containers. And we'll test them out. All right, so this green one is on the right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to shake it around a little bit. Yeah, do you need to shake your, your bleach? I don't know, man. I don't know. Can't hurt, I think. Okay. So that's the green bottle. Green on the right. Mm -hmm. Oh, there's bleach there. Oh, it's from the um roller. Roller. Okay, we don't have much of this left. Man, the dryer is really beating up. I know. <laughs> like, so it's cause, Something. It's because the hoodie. All right. Let's do a star. For the right one. Okay. Let's get that soaked up. All right, ready? Whoop. There you go, star. Wow. Can you see it at all? No, it's fine. Whoa, I think it's already starting to change though. Oh, I I'm noticing can. a change already. I'm noticing a I change. I do see it. I do see it. Do you guys see it? Oh, it's changing faster. We found the good bleach. Oh, yeah. That's changing. All right. Fish. Okay. So that was the green bottle. Let's do fish in the blue bottle. Oh, guys. The stream might be saved. We're, what, two hours into it? We might <laughs> finally have working bleach. <laughs> I see a semi, semi. Oh, look at that. Look at it changing. Yes. Okay. We were just using bad bleach. 
All right, ready? Yep. Fish. <laughs> That's that didn't work. Whoa, that's Whoa, even faster. Whoa, it's changing even faster. Holy moly. Okay, guys. Holy moly, look at that. Holy There's moly. Holy. I think it's oh too fast. God. I think it's too fast. I think we should have diluted it. I think, oh God, it's going to eat a hole in the shirt. It's definitely going to eat a hole in the shirt. <laughs> wow. Oh my gosh, what the heck? Okay, so uh, so the first bottle of bleach just wasn't good bleach anymore. No, not at all. The second wasn't good either. The second might be the best, the happy medium. I don't know, I like that one. The third? Okay, that's the one we have the least of, so. Um, be careful with it. Yeah, be careful with it. Okay, <clears throat> well this is exciting. It smells like bleach in here now. This is exciting. Um, Very exciting stuff, everyone. Now, one thing I want to try again. Because it was not satisfying the first time I did it. I want to do little footprint stamps. Yeah. I'm, I feel like I need to take this fish out of this bleach. I feel like it's just going to fully dissolve because right, that's the strong I'll, one. Uh, okay. I'll remove it. Okay. You know, bleach isn't an, is bleach an acid? I don't know. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so. All right. So. I have the strong bleach right here on a little pad. Now, I'm gonna clean my hands real quick. <laughs> I mean progress, guys, progress. Okay, bleach is a base. <clears throat> Everyone's saying bleach is a very right, strong right. base. All right, ready for me to try stamping? Let's do it. Get that a little soaked up. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, it's happening! Yes, this is what we want! It's happening, it's happening, it's happening! It's yes. happening! Yes! Oh my gosh, it's perfect! You guys, look at this! We're doing it! Oh! Yes! It's happening! Ah. <laughs> After so much struggle, we figured out the basics. <laughs> okay, guys, that's epic. Okay. Let's test another stamp that hasn't been sanded. Oh yeah, because maybe we don't even need to sand them. All right, so here is a little floral pattern right here. It looks like plants. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm gonna try stamping this. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. It's also different, this is more of an outline. There you go. So, stamps. Yeah. I mean, that one's not super great. It's not super great. It's okay. I think yeah. it's just um, more abstract. Yeah, especially because like, I kind of got the corners a little yeah, bit. Yeah, when you get the them. corners, that kind of messes it up. Okay, but uh, cat paw print? Cat paw prints are great. It's working. Do you want to try the foam letters again? Yeah, let's try the foam letters. Because those are the ones that you were like, oh man, these are so expensive. Let's do a skinny one. An eye. An eye. Or an exclamation yeah. point, that works. Exclamation point. All right, ready? Because this is the width of the pad that I have. Yeah, yeah. Whoop. Whoop. Oh my gosh. <clears throat> oh, wow. Oh my gosh, you guys. It works so well that. with the pad. This is amazing. Our most expensive investment. It works! It works! That's <sighs> magic! That's magic! It's doing it. It's all doing it. Okay, this, um, I do think when we, when we do the final pieces, um, we're either gonna have to, we're either gonna have to work super fast, um, or dilute the bleach a little bit. No. I think since we're doing so little, okay. it stops reacting fairly flat, fast, because we're not soaking it like we did the other ones. Okay. You know what I mean? Okay. <clears throat> I just remember last time there was like a rule of don't let it sit in the bleach more than 15 minutes, but you're right, we're not soaking it. We're not soaking it. Yeah, like, like, we're, like we're, we're applying such small amounts. The dryer. The let dryer me see Let me see if it's actually done. All right. I'm 
I'm coming, babe. I'm coming with a mobile cam. Okay. <laughs> Breaking new ground here. I think our audio is still connected. Yep. Some things are dry enough. Some are still very wet. Tote bags are dry. Not that we need them anymore. Um, only the tote bags are dry. <laughs> only the tote bags are dry? Everything else is still quite wet. I think 20 more minutes. Okay, okay, that's okay. We can do that. We can do that. All right. Bye, well, hey, baby. Tote bags unlocked. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, did that work? Could you see us? Did that in the work? Mobile, in the mobile cam? <laughs> I think right. they can see it. I see notes about the backsplash. All right. All right. Okay, so we got tote bags. Mm -hmm. um, not that we really need them anymore because we have this big sample anyways, but... But what we can do, Caitlin, is we can test, does washing make a difference? So we can test the old tote bags versus the new tote bags and use that as a piece of scientific evidence. Okay, you guys want to do some science? <clears throat> I want to do some science. science, yeah. I might also crack a window. Yeah. It's a yeah. little bleachy. Yeah. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. You, you got it? You need to, uh, I think, yeah, unwind I it. I know how to do it. All right, all right. Well, this has been exciting. Mm-hmm. I, Caitlin, in my opinion, yes. I wouldn't be opposed for the uncut to edit it slightly. <laughs> to trim out a little bit of the, uh, the yeah. just to speed it up just a tiny bit. I'm having trouble unwinding. Here, here I, I can do it if you want to chat. Yeah. It's getting a little bit bleachy in here. Also get that shirt into the peroxide. I, I don't know if we're done testing on it yet. Let's wait and see if we can test on the tote bags. Cause if we can't test on the tote bags, we might want to keep the shirt out just to um, try. Oh yeah, there it is. It's yeah. going, there is a lock. Just to try some more testing. Um, because once we soak the shirt in the peroxide, we can't test on it anymore. But we're not worried about salvaging it. I don't no. think Evan's gonna wear this. I mean, unless. Unless. <clears throat> oh, there's a big flex a little bit ago. <gasps> Thank you. Oh, you're right. You gonna close this? Yeah. Thank you, Captain Jojo, for the big flex. Thank you, Captain Jojo, for the big flex. Thank you. And this lighting makes my muscles look kind of big. Oh, yeah, let me see. Right? Baby, that's just your muscles. No, I think it's the lighting. I mean, look at that. Look at that. I think my right one, especially. Maybe my right one's stronger than my left. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, sorry. You just caught me checking my, like, me. You caught me checking myself out. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes, fresh air. That's good. Oh, that's so good. It's so good. Okay, All right, there um, is still one more method. Oh, oh, we were gonna test on the tote bags. Well, here, let, let, let's finish this first. Let's finish like this testing, going through all the methods on the same one, and okay. then we'll do that, that, this, this test next. Okay. So we've tested, oh yeah, let's, let's go back to the letters. <laughs> this is a hot mess. This is a hot mess. We tested sponges already. We don't need to test sponges. But we didn't test the sponge with the, 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 the new bleach. Yeah, we did, right here. That's a fish. There's one more thing. There's one more thing that we need to test. All right, stencils. Stencils. All right, let's do it. So this is going to be a little bit different. There's two ways I think we can do it. We can either pat on the bleach or we can spray it. I think Depends we on the look we want. Okay, give me one second. All right, so I'm just getting a sponge and I'm soaking it in the bleach right here. And then? I think this one's gonna be extra necessary to not overdo it. I'm just so this is pat it in place. This is like stamping but reverse. I feel like I see it soaking under the plastic. Wow. Yeah. Wow. That didn't wow. work at all. You could try with less. 
<laughs> Try it again, but less. Maybe. Right. I mean, you get an impression of an A. Yeah, I just must have done it too much. You could try the spray bottle. <clears throat> yeah, chat says you don't need that much bleach. Okay. Let's try it again. Okay. This is with less bleach. Oh, that's looking better. And then I'm just gonna pull it off right away. Hey. It uh, yeah, not enough, I guess. That's gonna be difficult. I feel like the you know, stamps looks, are easier. You know it sounds better. Hey. hey. That's way better. <laughs> that's way better. Yeah, I think um, the stamps are gonna be the way to go for this. All right. Now, since our tote bags came out of the dryer, do you wanna try the new bleach on the tote bag to see if it was the lining? It could have also just been that the bleach was so weak, cause even these didn't work. But do you wanna see if our effort, all of our effort has been worth it? Of washing? Of the washing, yeah. Yeah, let's see. Lots of time and energy and effort to get these washed and dried. Does it make a difference? I think it does. Um, Let's just not even worry about um, protecting both sides. Okay. Let's just go for it. There's a lot of bleach that is spilled under this. It's the weak bleach. It's the inactive bleach. Wow! I don't know how that happened. It's who, the sponge roller. Who would do such a thing? Good enough. All right. So this is the washed one? This is the washed tote bag. Can you bring out the, the, the unwashed? For comparison. For comparison. Let's see how far we've come. Okay, this is the unwashed tote bag. You can see the bleach is just kind of sitting on top. I'm gonna refresh the bleach just a little bit. Mm -hmm. So this is a strong bleach. Mm -hmm. We'll do the old first. Ready? The, the old what? The old bag, the, uh, the unwashed bag Oh, first. the unwashed bag, yeah. All right. We do a little stamping. Okay. And then new bag. It's. <laughs> we do a little stamping. The old one is bleaching. <laughs> Did we not need to wash any of this? Did we not need to wash everything? We spent like an hour. Was it just bad it, bleach? They kind of look the same. They kind of look the same. Now, washing is best practice. It's best practice. <laughs> oh, come on. Come on. You know, we we got to learn some things in the meantime. We still got to test our techniques while things were being washed and dried. I'm sure we only have like 10 more minutes to waste until the and next batch again. is dry. <clears throat> And so, it's all part of the journey. It's all know? part of the journey. It's all, yeah. it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. It's fine. <sighs> you know, let's see, let's see, now that we have working bleach, how small and how detailed can we go? You wanna try the little cats? Let's try little cats and little, little letters. Oh, there's a tiny, a tiny toe bean print. And a little letter print, okay. Yeah. Spell, spell out a secret message. Don't tell me what it is. Oh, spell out a secret words, message? And then see, let, let, let's see if it comes across. Okay. <clears throat> I can do that. I can do that. Now, I do have to say, the tote bags are dying not as nicely and not as colorful as our 
t-shirt. That's true. You know, it's all different like qualities of fabric, I guess. Yeah, and these were $2, so. They were $2 a piece. Um, do you want to uh, yeah, I'm, write I'm something gonna, for me? I'm going to. How are you gonna How are you gonna film it and not look? Do you want to put it on the PTZ? Or, yeah. or you can just not look. I'll put it on the PTZ. I'll zoom it in. Which which one are you gonna do it on? The washed? Yeah. Where are you gonna do it? Right here? Right here? Mm-hmm. Okay. Try it out. So here is the stamping pad. Okay. You gotta not look. Alright, I won't look. I'm just gonna set my drink. I haven't gotten any experience with these, so we'll see how I do. And hopefully, uh, it, uh, hopefully it works. I think with the stamps, we just need to um, accept the fact that the outline will be part, part of, of the letter. Yeah. It's like a ransom note. <laughs> yeah. You know, I think it's stylistic. I think it's intriguing. Yes. I think it adds a little bit of flair. So Can you, can you um, tell what I wrote? <clears throat> Chat probably can't tell. Switch to the mobile. But yeah, <laughs> you know I like the uh, natural. Uh... Oh, go on, focus. You know, I like the natural uh, irregularities that show up around it's the letters. It's not a bad look. It's not a bad look. Yeah. It looks like elements, you know, like a periodic pet table of elements. It looks like the Breaking Bad <laughs> That's logo. That's what it looks like. It looks like the Breaking Bad logo. <laughs> it does. It does. <gasps> do you want to try your roller again? Yeah, I do. Although maybe I'll try one. That uh, so, let me get you my words to try, together. Try a different one that yeah. isn't soaked in the bad bleach. Yeah. Let me get my words together, and then I'll put a sentence together. <laughs> Words are hard isn't just our merch. It's my way of life. <laughs> okay, so foolishly, the first one I tried was this. And there are a few different variations of this. It's the pattern around a cylinder. And mm -hmm. I feel like that's bad. Yeah, there's, there's multiple of it. But there are some where it's continual contact all the way around. And this, this is just gonna leave like stripes. Mm -hmm. So instant stripes, and I think this should work a little bit better. I think so too. So I'm going to roll it up like this. Turn down the brightness. It's um, I think it's been like auto changing because when I go to the no, black... no, I I I, I, went, I turned it off the auto. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, ready? Mm-hmm. All right, guys, wish me luck. We wow! I think that worked much better. Wow! That's kind of a vibe. Continual contact really does something. Yeah, that would look good across a shirt or like a butt or something, you know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's doing something. Now, do you want to try the other style of roller? Just yeah, to see? I could. I could. I'll squeeze this out. This one had something fall off of it. I'll do hearts. Okay. Oh, that's missing a lot. I'll do stars. <laughs> All right. Yes, yes, nice and carefully. Mm. Mm. Yeah, those still, I think you'd be better off just like getting the star sponge and, and doing a bunch something. of stars. It looks like the United States flag, <laughs> <laughs> but like cursed. <laughs> yep, yep. Very interesting stuff. Abstracted. Well, we've learned a lot. We've learned a lot. So far we've learned that bleach can expire. Yep. Um, you should probably wash your clothes, even though it didn't seem to make a difference on the tote bags. And that's, uh, that's mostly it. Some rolling stamps work, some don't. Um, use a paper towel for rubber stamps. Use a paper towel, yeah, as like a, a, a pad. 
to soak and, up the right amount. And with all these lessons learned, I think it might be time to start moving on. To shorts, shirts, hoodies, hats? Basically the more expensive stuff we yeah. bought. All right, let's do it. Now, do you have a design in mind for any of your items? Um, yes, but my items are in the dryer. Your shirt is ready. My shirt's ready. Because we have an already washed shirt of yours. Yeah. All so. Right. Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm just going to put these to the side. I don't think they need to be soaked since no. they're just like testers. Sacrificial. Yeah. I'm going to wipe this up because there's definitely bleach everywhere. There's bleach everywhere. Everywhere. Yeah, I don't think we can reuse um, this because there's bleach inside of this also. The cardboard. The cardboard. I have another um, cardboard piece. All right, cool. And if we need more. We'll cut. One thing that's really interesting, I'm just going to walk up to the main camera. Yeah. Here is uh, how things have turned out over a long period of time. This is the dye that we're going to end up using, the bleach, you know, to, to dye it. The, this, the, ble the bleach we're going to end up using? So this is the bleach we're going to end up using. I like this result the most. This is the medium old bleach and it's been sitting here it hasn't gotten to the good color that this did it just hasn't improved at all and look at the original bleach and this is the original bleach nothing nothing so really old bleach medium old bleach freshest most powerful bleach makes a huge difference mm -hmm. another thing that's really interesting is this area right here really got soaked this really got soaked but these areas right here where the stamps are, um, the reaction has stopped, which I think is really interesting. It never reached the level of bleached that these reached. So to me, that means that like the chemical reaction has stopped, perhaps, I don't know. I think for these final pieces, it still might make sense to soak them in the peroxide. I think so too, yeah. But I think like we don't need to be in like a crazy rush. No, I don't think so. Now, do you want to do designs on the front or the back? Uh, front first. Okay. You know what? To be safe, I'm just going to get another plastic sheet and put yeah. it on top of this. I tried to wipe Sounds it off, good. but, you know. Sounds good. Oop. And if there's anything we know we're not using, let's get it out of the way. Like yeah. This. The thing I liked the most is, um... Hmm. He's thinking. He's deep in thought. I really, really like the uh, foam stamps, actually. Yeah. I like those a lot. So I think I'm going to do a foam stamp design with maybe some accents of paw prints. Okay. Mm. Are you going to do anything special in the pocket? Ooh, yes. Careful. Oh. Was it touching? No. I don't know what to do. It, need, it needs to be face. folding. It needs to fold backwards. Okay. Because it might get in the way of my design. Okay. My master plan. Okay. <clears throat> Let me get one more glove. Thanks for putting the uh, disgusting old bleaches away and only leaving out the good bleach. Yes. Let's also change the PTZ angle to be a bit wider. Yep, 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 yep. Paw prints coming out of the pocket. Oh, that would be cute. Ooh, that would be really cute. Also, thank you guys for the hype train. All right, I'm going to start with that, honestly. J-Bugs, thanks, for, thanks <laughs> for the two gifted sub. Sorry, say that again. I want to do paw prints coming out of the pocket. <laughs> Thank you, chat. I'm going to wipe this clean, get it to a fresh starting point. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So you're going to kind of like peel back the pocket? Yeah. Right, ready? Yeah, I'm just going to brighten. Oh, yeah. <gasps> it's cute. We love it. 
And make sure to space them like footprints. There you go. There you go. Was that one on a fold? Yeah, that's good. Okay, okay. <clears throat> All right, that's a great start. That's cute. That is cute. Um, it I'm looks needed. good. Uh, what letter are you looking for? They're in order. <laughs> I know what you're spelling. <laughs> and then I need the T also. A T? Yeah. Put that what off is the, the side. T for? <laughs> I'm just wondering what the, what the T is for. Ooh, yeah, look at this. I'm gonna use this to space it. Perfect. But what's, what's the T for? I don't know, you're gonna have to find out. I'm so confused. Before you do it, I'm gonna go see if I need to put more time in the dryer. Okay, all right. Should I come with and do an update? <laughs> I mean, it's up to you. I mean, might as well. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, let's go check on the laundry. Woo! <laughs> Right, I'm going to put it into auto. Uh huh. Go past all of this stuff. Bing, 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 Through bing, the cat bing, portal. Bing, 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 the hat is ready. It's all ready. Yay! Okay, we can keep going. Yay! <laughs> Success! <laughs> Sorry, did you want to hold one? No. <laughs> <laughs> all right. Oh, wow. Oh, we're back, you guys. You guys. Oh, thank you. Yay! <laughs> <laughs> okay. And thank you guys for the hype train. All right, here you go. Mm-hmm. You ready? I'm ready. The sea's going in. <gasps> Don't drip. We love it. Yes. The concentration. He's working with such speed, even though there's technically no rush. But we have been streaming already for at least a couple of hours, and Evan wants a shirt. So, oh, so you're just going to go across the pocket. There you go, baby. Nope. Uh -huh. Oh, yeah, what is the T for? Chaos? Oh, you're doing lots of, oh, lots of chaoses. Oh. But I still don't know what the T is for. Where's the T here? Oh, chaos, chaos cats? Chaos, chaos cat. You might want to add like another uh, paw print over here to like even it out. <laughs> You're just a big chaos cat, baby. It's beautiful, it's wonderful. It's like Juby walked across it. <laughs> Chaos cat! Chaos cat! <laughs> I like it. <laughs> Success! I like it. Yay! You got a shirt, baby. It's organic. It's wild. It's it's uh, cute. <laughs> it's cute. It's cute. I it's like cute. it. Um, do you want to let it continue to change for a little bit before neutralizing it? Yeah, like let yeah, them all even out. I really like how these are turning out. Look at that. Yeah. Yeah. I'm really liking that, so I want the rest of this to kind of develop some. Yeah. Now, I will admit, the font, maybe not something I would have chosen. It's a little Comic sans -ish. It's It's very Comic sans -ish, but it's the only one that I could find. With the rubber stamps. With the rubber stamps. I mean, by rubber stamps, I mean you know, the, 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 Yeah, yeah, the yeah exactly, stamps. exactly. But the thing is, we're makers. We have all sorts of different... Um, tools and stuff we can That's make true. our own stamps if we want to in the future whatever font we want whatever we want all right chaos cat i'm gonna set this aside okay i see people already wanting this as merch <laughs> <laughs> chaos cat merch where are 
are you putting it? On the carpet? Okay, I guess that's fine. There's, you know, cardboard. Mind it. Okay. Um, I guess I can go now. Yeah, go for it. I'm going to start with a shirt as well. And I bought a little cotton crop top. Yeah. With a wide crop. And I do have something specific in mind. Let me get some cardboard for myself. Oh, gosh. <laughs> These two <meat> tables. <laughs> These two tables. Caitlin's just struggling. <laughs> Caitlin's just struggling. Hey, in my defense, I'm on the side with all the tables. <laughs> okay. Let's get some cardboard in here. And I do think once we neutralize that one, we might be able to reuse that cardboard. We might be able to, yeah. But if not, we can. Oh, it went out of focus for a bit. Mm. <clears throat> Want me to get the, the smaller cardboard? No, it, it needs to be wide. All right. This is the smaller cardboard. Awesome, awesome. Okay. Bleaching is hard. <laughs> Bleaching is hard. And let's also just do a little checky check. Make sure there's nothing up here. I think it should be pretty good. You were pretty controlled. I was pretty controlled. Thank you for noticing. <laughs> let's make sure this is, which side is, okay, this is the back, okay. Let me get these bleachy guys out of the way. I'm just gonna put them face up. Yeah. They seem to dry pretty fast. Yeah. So, there's been a couple designs that I've had in mind. All right. Um, but I don't know if, I'm not totally sure which one I should go with. So, one that I thought would be cute, but the paw prints might be a little small, is I thought it'd be fun to do paw prints like here and here on the chest. Yeah. Yep, yep. I cute. think that could be super cute. Yeah. I also... Like a cat just went up and just like, hi. Yeah. Yeah. Which Juby does to me. She does. Um, I also thought it could be mm. cute um, doing that with the stars, which are a little bit bigger. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Or alternatively, that stripey one was really cool. I could go across the sleeves and the front Ooh. with the stripey. Stripey all the way. Stripey all the way. Would you go like wavy? Oh, I could try wavy. That's a little bit riskier. But straight is risky too, because like... Straight's difficult. Straight's difficult. And yeah. would you go off the shoulder? Because like, you know, but also curving it might be risky also. That's what I was thinking. I could do a little like test run on the, um, on the... The shirt? Uh, uh, scrap shirt? Yeah, the scrap shirt or something. Yeah. Um, stripey might drip. Stripey might drip. Um, stripes in a couple paw prints, stripe sleeves, normal design. Oh, I could just do stripes on the sleeves. Yeah, we're like, just like, just like, yeah. Just like a straight right along the edge. Yeah, straight right and along the, the edge. And then the two paw prints. I should cardboard the sleeves, that's a good idea. I can do that. Do you want to read some of the feedback while I cut this? Yeah. Make it look like a cat walked across. That's kind of what I did. Yeah, that's kind of what Evan did. So I don't want to do yeah. like cat walking across. Yeah. Um, ham now in random letters. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, um, we're getting suggestions to like, um, make those stamp shields uh, on our laser cutter and then um, make a different font. One thing that's interesting is some laser cutters can cut some rubbers. And so I've seen people make laser cut stamps before. Interesting. All on their laser cutter. Very interesting. Yeah. So um, we could make some very custom uh, stamps if we wanted to, for sure. God dang, it's not, it's not wide enough. <laughs> Another suggestion was chaos, but where the S has been knocked down because of the cat. A lot of people are saying bleaching is hard. That's too many letters, y'all. Bleaching is too hard for that. Do you have an exact, oh, can you hand me the exact knife? That would be so much better. Sure thing, baby, here you go. One thing that we could do is we could do bleaching is hard in the small ransom letters as like the brand name of this merch line. <laughs> this non-existent merch line. Yeah. 
got this. You say you got this? You got this. Oh, you're encouraging me yeah. with the cutting? Thank you. <laughs> Laundry is hard. Laundry is hard. Or to reduce letters, bleach is hard. Jubes human. <clears throat> Ooh, a lot of people are wanting, um, oh, all laser can engrave rubber. Interesting. Very interesting. Oh, and we could also do it with like, you know, uh, one of those CNC knife blades too, on mm -hmm. our like, you know, little, uh, it's usually... A it, cricket? Yeah. Now, are you going to do the, the, the um, rollers on both sides of the uh, shirt? If I do the sleeves, definitely. Yeah, yeah. If I do the shirt, probably. Mm. Yeah. Laundry time. Laundry day. Oh yeah, so some people, they got a laser cutter to make rubber stamps. Interesting. Yeah. Okay. I'm all set up with my cardboard. Creating merch line with Evan and Caitlin, yeah. Yeah, so, um, I need a snack. That'd be kind of funny to just write, I need a snack. I don't know if that was just someone stating they need a snack or a suggestion. Um, I, could, I could do like property of the supervisor on the sleeve and then do the two paw prints. Because then I it's kind of cute. themed. Yeah. Sorry, so for what? what uh, property this? of supervisor or property of jube. That's a lot of, that's, that's a lot. lot. Of yeah. I was thinking the stripes on the sides and then... Um, the two the yeah, stars. Yeah, I just don't want to do. Yeah, the stars are a bit bigger than the paw prints, so I think that could look cute. Has this been bleached? Um, it was the them. medium weak bleach. Yeah, it was at the beginning. Yeah. Jube's eyes. Another thing I did think of is like, could I make a cat face <clears throat> out of the letters we have? Now, another thing is we can cut these to any shape you want. Yeah, but let me just... Oh, my God. She's seeing things. She's seeing possibilities. Just um, give me a second. Oh, you can do, like, ubu faces and stuff. Yes. So I can give her... See, picture an eye and a whisker or a grumpy eye and a whisker. Do you picture it? Yeah, yeah, I'm seeing it. I'm seeing it. This could be the mouth. Also. Or W for the mouth? Or no. W. Oh, but it's not curvy. I could do two U's, but they're a little too deep. Yeah. For the mouth. What, what, what letter would make a cat mouth? I can do this for... Yes! <laughs> but it's yes. not going to look like a cat. Okay, you can, can you picture it though? So one eye here, one eye here. But this, this eye doesn't look like a mouth, like a cat mouth. Ooh! Ooh! Oh my God, this is it. It's the Y. The Y. That's a cat mouth. Okay, yeah, I see it, I see it. All right, guys. She I know you guys grumpy. can't see this. That's backwards. Yeah. Can you do top down? Yeah, top down. Okay, top there's down, only one in. D. Move it up, yeah. But imagine, imagine the, the D, D and, and the, the V on the other side. Flipped. So this is like her mouth. This is her eye and a whisker. Yeah, we don't have any numbers. That's oh, perfect. there's numbers there. Uh, but like there, it's going to be a different style, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, we don't have any numbers. The, the, the three would be pretty cute for uh, a mouth, but it's going to look differently. Yeah, it would look different. So I worry about it. Now, now we, we could do the three, the D, and uh, what the are we using? The, the V. Whiskers. That's pretty cute, too. That's pretty cute too. One thing we could do is on the test shirt, we haven't really tested um, a foam letter with the, uh, so the back is fine, so I can set it on top. Okay. We haven't tested a foam letter with the, the full bleach. Okay, let me, we let's only, see we how We only those... tested this, which was a complete mess. Let's see how that looks. Yeah. And if it, I can get it, let's see yeah. how the three looks. Yeah. 
There's also, I don't know if there's any shapes in here that can make a cat face. No, I don't think so. <laughs> Do this for the smile. No, but it doesn't mm. look like, it, it looks like Cheshire Cat. Yeah. Um, the Y mouth is cute. I like the Y. Yeah, I kind of like the Y. I kind of like her being grumpy. Oh, this should be here. Yeah. Do you want to change to, here we go. Yeah. I'll test the two different mouth designs. And I think that'll give me an idea. Yeah, I think it's not gonna come across with the sponge. The sponge, it works, but it's not as crisp. Yeah. And I like how crisp the other ones are. Me too. I feel like that's yeah. going to be better. Yeah. And it looks more like a cat mouth to me, I think. Even though like a three is what you would use with like, if you're typing an uwu face. Yeah. I think this Upside is Upside down Y. That's yeah. it. Y is better. Okay. Let's do it. Right. Can you right. take this? Yeah, I'll take it. And I still am going to try the stripes on the sleeves as well. All right. Let me uh, move the PTZ over so it's focused. All right. I'm gonna do the Y first to like center myself. Yep. Hopefully the placement's good. Oh, like when you wear it? Yeah, like hopefully I'm like centering it and stuff. Oh, someone suggested an upside down V for ears. I don't wanna do too much. Yeah, I think just the face is, 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 is good. You want me to on mobile cam it also? Okay. You ready for me to push it? You got it? All right, go for it. High pressure. Like what if I did it upside down? That is a, that is perfect. Oh, okay, okay. First of uh, quite a few steps. No. Complete. Very few steps, this is easy. Now I'm gonna make her grumpy because that's kind of a grumpy mouth. Yeah. Oh my gosh, yes. I wiggled it a little bit, so I'm gonna do that again. Yes. Oh my gosh, and I love that this shirt, when it's bleached, it it's turns red. red. Yeah. Okay, let me get the spacing. Sorry, I'm gonna have to lean over this for no a second. No worries, no worries. We give it a wiggle, just a little wiggle. Cute, my spacing's a little off, that's okay. It's charming, right? It's, it's charming. charming. Here comes the whiskers. Like I'm just making art out of letters. I wonder if anyone's gonna look at this and be like, that's letters. <laughs> <laughs> one definitely off center that's okay this there, there's a there, there's a charming there's a charm about imperfectly handcrafted items thank you now do you dare risk the sleeves um putting a dot in there a dot where like in the eyes somehow i don't know if i want a dot yeah i think that looks great I mean, I could do like a line. A dot doesn't make sense though. You can picture yeah. a line. And do we have any? No. What no. are you looking for? Like a eye with, no, but the eye is like this. There's an exclamation an point. Yeah, I don't know. I, th I think we, I think we leave it. All right, can you switch to main? Yes. All right, cool. I love it. I want to just merge. Thank you. <laughs> okay, and now I think I'm going to try this on the sleeves. Ooh, bold. I know. All right, I'll switch to, uh, I'm going to zoom out the PTZ. Yeah. Ooh, which sleeve are you going to do first? This one. All right. Now there's some wrinkles, so the stripes might not be perfect, but. 
I think I'll just film it on the PTZ. Yeah. I think that's a good angle for it. Okay, I'm gonna dab off a little of the extra. Oh yeah. Okay. It's changing already. Now I'll do the other side. I'm gonna scoot it. You might need to move the PTZ. All right. All right, it's ready. Okay. Go. Yeah. Let me grab my little dabber. Let's, let's flatten it. Yeah, it won't flatten perfectly, but it'll be good enough. It'll be perfectly imperfect. All right. Okay. Oh yeah, let's just leave it there and like let the colors appear. <laughs> it's so satisfying just to like watch them like magically. Yeah. I think that one needed lighter than the other. I could, I might be able to go over no, it again. No, no, I think, I this think really, I can do it. No, baby. No, it's too risky. It's no, too it's risky. Not. Oh, she's crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, she's wild. Wild. Okay. Now I am uh, going to want to flip this around. I'm loving this so far. Thank you. I think it's very this fun. This is really fun. <clears throat> Um, I do want to flip it around. Yes. While not messing this up to do the other side of the uh, sleeves. All right, here, let me help, let me help. Yeah, I have one non-bleachy no, I, I got it, I, I got it all. I'm gonna, I'm gonna flip it backwards. There's bleach here. Okay. Right here. Just put it towards that end, I think it'll be okay. There you go. It's dusty. Okay. okay I, I think that mine is at a good point, so I'm gonna go ahead and put it in the, the stopping agent. Okay. I'm just gonna go ahead and do this. You can still see it on camera. Chaos cat. Okay, we got one. I think I'm gonna have to go over my first one again. That's okay. Oh. Focus, focus. Oh my gosh. Yeah, just, you can just leave it wide. All right. Ready? Yeah. Okay. Oh boy! I think that did it, y'all. It the cardboard is falling. Everything is falling. I just touched bleach with my hands. But I think this is gonna be very cool. <laughs> so the general best practice is once you are happy with your bleached shirt, you put it in a, a mix of water and hydrogen peroxide to stop the bleaching process. Yes, to neutralize it. Okay, um, mine is gonna be harder to place because it has bleach on both sides. Now, when do you wanna stop it? I might turn it over. Yeah, here, let me, uh, let me help you pick it up. Just, um, don't put it down yet when you pick it up. Yeah. Because there's definitely a... Look at that, guys. It's cat. It's cat. What meow? Okay. I'm not sure if it's going to change much more. Yeah, it might not change much more. Are you happy with it? Yeah. I like it. All right, freeze it. I think it's cute. Okay. Cute. <laughs> yeah, I like it. Now, does it sort of look like a kid did it? Yeah. That's fine. Okay, baby, what do you want to do next? You have a hoodie, you have a hat. I want 
The hat, please. Now, where should I do it? Probably right here on the, the front face of it. Or the bill. Uh, I'm going to get... No, I want, I want it up here. I'm going to okay. get uh, a foam head. Yes. <laughs> so that uh, I can push against it. Sounds like a good plan. And I, yes, I need a do, mannequin. We do have foam heads. <laughs> Video idea hand carving stamps. Yeah, I don't know what his plan is for the hat, actually. I am going to try to clean up a little bit. There's just things everywhere and it's all covered in bleach. Hey, hey. Put this over here. And put this here. Okay. Sanding paper. Sanding paper. <laughs> now, for the top view, where's the center of it? Right here. I'm going to zoom in. Right there. Sounds good. And I can hold it stable. Yeah, if you can hold it stable, I'm going to do some uh, precision work. Yeah. In just a little bit. So you see what the split top looks like? Yeah. So the split top isn't... Okay, no, I, I can center it. I can okay, get it. I cool. can get it good. Oh, you're muted. Oh, yeah. I'm Thanks, sorry. chat. Also, Jay Bugs, thank you so much for the 1,050 bits and for the gifted sub. Graham, thank you so much for five gifted subs. Thank you. Emmy, em, or sorry, Emily, thank you for the gifted sub. We appreciate it, y'all. Tig, thank you for the gifted sub. So many gifted subs. And so, All right. many, so many subs as well. Thank you. All right, guys, this is going to be great. Um, do you have something in mind? Yes. Okay. You'll find out along with everyone else. He's grabbing the small letters. You can't spell chaos again now. No. It's going to spell. Oh, uh, is it butts? No. Nope. It's not butts. Don't look at the letters I'm choosing. I'm not. I'm just going to, I'm just going to look this way. I'll give you a hint. Okay. No, I'm not going to give you a hint. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You'll find out soon enough. All right, ready? Yeah, can I look or should I not? Sure. I'll try to guess it. A. He, I think, I'm imagining you're starting with the center. Cat, cats. Is it cats? Is it anything? It's kind of just a splotchy design right now. The C is looking okay, so cat. But it's not chaos cats. <gasps> is it cat dad? <gasps> Please be cat dad. <gasps> it's cat dad. <gasps> I love it. I wish it was readable. <gasps> oh, come on, cat dad. Oh, you might have just been going a little bit fast. I was about to hear. Let me, let me try to do it. No. Okay. Here, I know what you can do. What? Okay. Tiny paint, paintbrush. Tiny paintbrush. Tiny paintbrush. Yep. Um, there's tinier ones in the garage. All right. Go, go get them. I'm going to fix this cat dad. It looks like dad dad to me. <laughs> Guys, I'm trying my best. The, the three D's look okay, the T looks okay, the bottom A looks okay. These are tiny it, it probably would have just been better to... Um, just write Cat Dad. Write it, yeah. I think this one. Okay. All right, let's see what I can do. I believe in you. Chat believes in you. Yeah, I think I think if you really emphasize the letters. 
<laughs> my daughter got me a best, the best cat dad ever t-shirt. I thought it was because we have a cat. My daughter said it's because she is a cat, lol. <laughs> That's great. I relate, I am also a cat. It's hard because you like see what you're writing on a delayed yeah. basis. I'm just gonna do multiple light layers. Okay. Did you just turn the C into a D? Now it's dat dat. <laughs> I, think, I think you just turned the C into a D, baby. Dad, dad. <laughs> no, I'm a cat dad. Oh, no. Can oh, we no. sound legit? No. <laughs> oh, no. You just you started doing these. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, no. I'll do it my backwards. Oh. <laughs> Sharpie it, Sharpie it, give me a Sharpie, Sharpie give me a Sharpie, okay. give me a Sharpie. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, no, Chad, what have I done? Man, Cat Dad would have been great. Come on. Okay, so those stamps definitely don't work well on a uh, small surface. I think the stamps just aren't the best in general. They're just too, yeah. too tiny, too detailed. Too tiny. <laughs> he really is dad, dad. Evan, best dad, dad. Oh, gosh. There you go. Cat dad. Well, cat, cat, cat day. Cat day. <laughs> That's not why. Cat, dad. It was like, oh wow. Cat down? It looks like. Do you want me to see if I can do anything to it? Yeah, you can try. Oh, you're really going bigger. You have to. But you can't make the A bigger. I can make anything bigger. She is a graphic designer. She does have experience with, um... It's more like, um, experience with eyeliner. Like, you mess it up, you just go mm, bigger. The bottom A looks okay. What do you think? It's not bad. I'm thinking about the top A. You know, the vowels are less important because your brain auto-completes them, you know what I mean? Yeah. Now, it looks kind of like a B. Cat... Dab. <laughs> I'm getting there. I'm getting there. All right, I'm going to sit down. Yeah, take a break. <sighs> use the Sharpie. <clears throat> yeah, we could use the Sharpie to remove some a little bit, you know? Mm-hmm. There you go, there you go, it's coming together. The interesting thing is it's mm. bleeding more with the brush. So yeah. it's fuzzier. Yeah. Someone said, to be honest, none of them look like letters to me. See, so there's that. <clears throat> I figure at this point we might as well try to fix it. All right. Even though it is getting really fuzzy. It's getting real fuzzy. Yeah. I think the reason why is when you apply it with a brush, you end up applying more than yeah. the thin amount on a stamp. Does that make sense? Yeah. And so it bleeds into the fibers. It bleeds into the fibers, yeah. I think more. Yeah. So I think, I think that's an interesting thing. Yeah. Again, if we had thicker bleach, Mm -hmm. then maybe it wouldn't bleed out as much. It would yeah. more stick in place. Yeah. I see the dad. I see the dad. The center of that, that one D is starting to... Maybe fill in the center of that D.
<laughs> What's that Rorschach test? Rorschach test? Yeah. Yeah. You guys still want to give it some of its um, charm. Charm? Yeah. Do you want to extend? Put a, put a dot in the center of the A, the bottom A. Nice, nice. I think that reads as cat dad. I think that does. Can you, can you extend the C a little bit? The top and bottom with oh, some yeah. bleach? And then I have one more thing I want to do to it. Okay, chat saying love it, love it. It looks like fire letters, much better. Ooh, yeah, it's Good stylized. Job. There you go. We're salvaging it, baby. Salvaging it, yeah. I'm glad that you liked my general idea. I love the idea. It's perfect for a hat, because it's a dad hat. It's a dad hat, right? Yeah. Okay, this is what's needed. A paw print? No. Where are you gonna do it? That's the, the thing. I could do it. I think I want w just one right here. I feel like it almost makes more sense to do it like here or something. On the brim? And it should be like this way? No. Or this way? I think if you're going to do it, I think that way. I just feel like if you do it up here, it's just going to make the whole thing look visually off center. Yeah. You know? Right, I'll do one right here then. Okay. Do you want to scoot this up a little bit? Yeah. Mm. All right. Cat dad hat. Let's do it. Oh yeah! There you go. Oh yeah! It's gonna match. Cat dad. It's gonna match your uh, shirt. Chaos cat and cat dad. There you go. I love it. <laughs> I think Chaos it's cute. Chaos cat and cat dad. I think it's real cute. Look at you that. may not be able to read it from afar. The, people just like, have to get close. But yeah, to that, you. that's the thing. It builds interest, guys. Yeah, people are like, ooh, what's that guy's hat say? All right, let's look at it on our model. Yep. Let's uh, zoom in on the, uh, on the PTZ. There you go. There Look it is. at that. Look at that fashion. Look at that style. Beautiful. That is a handmade item. Something made with love mm -hmm. and panic. <laughs> <laughs> it looks go. good, baby. <laughs> Thank you. Alrighty, I have one more item okay. I can do, and that is a pair of shorts. Did you just have a paper towel on the carpet, sir? No. There's multiple paper towels on the carpet. It's bleach. I know your back hurts and you can't bend down, but you can aim. <laughs> oh no, he's going down. Oh, so you guys, he's got to go into the egg position. This is what happens when his back starts hurting. He's got to become an egg. I'm sorry we've lost him. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is the only safe way for me to laugh. I need to curl up into a ball and laugh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> okay, okay. Okay, okay I'm good. you good? You good? I'm good. Okay. <laughs> All right, I'm back. Okay, he's back, everyone. Oh, Eggvin. Eggvin, yeah, you did become Eggvin. Okay, right, so last I have. Item. I have a little pair of shorts. Cute. And the idea that I had, yep. it might be a little repetitive yep. with something you've done already. Are you gonna do cat mom? No, I was gonna do chaos across the butt. Oh, you should. <laughs> like juicy, sh like juicy pants. Yeah, yeah. You but, know? but chaos but across chaos? the butt. I love now, it. Now I'm open to other words since Evan already did chaos. Hand, Hand prints on the butt? No. <laughs> no, no, no. That's no. been done. I think you did try to do that to my last jeans. I think I, I think I did. Died. Yeah. Um, let me get some cardboard. Let's see. But I think like chaos would be pretty funny. <laughs> just the word butt. <laughs> <laughs> like label it. Wait, yeah, I'm just labeling it. Butt chaos. Ham. <laughs> Sup. Let me see if this is wide enough or if I need to cut some more cardboard. Um, let's see if there's anything else. 
Lots of butts on the butt. And it is, that is funny. What, just, about, what about chaos butt? Chaos butt? I don't know, that's a lot of letters. And oh, that, that is a lot. I kind of want it to not be that long. Yeah, yeah. Chaos is what I was originally thinking. Let me um, get this size to think about here. Fail University. <laughs> but train, I feel like um, if I wear that out in public, it's gonna, it's gonna be taken differently. It's gonna be taken differently than the context in our stream. Chaos hams, just ham. Ham with paw prints. Uh, <clears throat> well, the, the fun thing is that again, this is an experimental, you know, process that we're going through right now. Yes. We're trying lots of different things. We're learning lots of things. Oh yeah. And, um, you know, I think that, uh, I could see us doing something like this again, but this time with like custom stamps, fresh bleach, all sorts of like improvements and stuff like that. Yeah. Now that we know what works. And what now doesn't. that we know what works. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Resin time. <laughs> Ham with three A's. Just like calling my butt ham. <laughs> I mean, I'm open to it. If I did ham, I feel like it would have to have three A's. Oh, okay. Yes, yeah, so this is washed. Yep, this is washed. Yep. <sighs> I think that things are pretty evenly, I've been watching the chat, things are pretty evenly divided between chaos and butt. I think chaos makes a little bit more sense. Mm-hmm. And then like I could with our like, branding and everything. And I could wear it to the grocery store. Yeah, then you could wear it I to the grocery store. I feel like I'll wear chaos more if I'm being yeah. honest. Yeah, I think- Because if I think, I think about like- I think like make I to, what you wear. I have to think about life outside of, <laughs> of this. Cookwa. <laughs> the most niche. <laughs> most niche, yeah. Okay, okay. Chaos right. goose. I think chaos. I think chaos wins. Okay. So I'll, I'll start pulling letters for you. I think they're already out. Oh, yeah. And it's also like, it's, it's a good size of word. Yeah. <laughs> the back, right? Okay. Now, honestly, if I were going to make my own stamps, I understand why they did circles for all of these. Mm -hmm. But if I, were, if I was going to do my own stamps, I'll do them entirely in that shape. So then there's no worry about like... Um, oh, like the direction and stuff? Like, 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 like if, if you got some bleach on the, the circle or something like that. Mm, I see. You know what I mean? Well, so far, we haven't gotten bleach. No, 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 we haven't. Okay, so A. A, a right in the crack. Right in the crack. Chaos. All right. <laughs> All right, um, so the top down center is uh, over here. Mm, thank you. Yeah, let's try not to let it touch these since they do maybe have some residual bleach. And I'm open to doing something on the front, like a little front pocket area as well. Oh, I was like, why is it so zoomed in? It's because it's so zoomed in. <laughs> okay, that's just a wrinkle. I thought it was bleach. Hashtag not sponsored. Yeah, no. <laughs> okay. Make right. it a glove. Chaos always wins. Okay. The circles are good for kerning. That's true. Now I don't know. They might it might be too big for the butt if I space them out with the circles, so. Right, I'm just getting, uh, 
Yeah, I'm gonna have to Not wing so it a yeah. bit on the kerning because I think it's too wide. Yeah, I think I think do the A and then yeah. Just, I'm just, gonna just do just the A it. and yeah. then I'm gonna have to wing it. Yeah. Yeah, because I use the circles to space mine and. Uh, they're pretty far apart. They're pretty far apart. Okay. I'm gonna use this like curved seam to guide so me, and I'm yeah, gonna yeah. curve the letter slightly. Mm, yeah. I had a, a second of like, is A really the middle letter? <laughs> okay. The method with the paper towel is so great. I know, right? Thank you, chat. So, someone in chat. Don't lean over too much. Sorry. That's okay. Hi. Ah, <laughs> do what you gotta do. I gotta baby. do it. Yeah. I'll move when I press it in. Here, I'll, I'll capture it on the PTZ. Split PTZ. Yeah, there it is. Okay. There she is. Uh, I love when it just like reveals like that. I know. These rubber ones are so satisfying. Clean. Clean. Oh my gosh, this is going to be great, baby. Yeah, I, I like this. These rubber stamps are definitely the most satisfying. Yeah. I think the, the main lesson, one of the main lessons I've learned besides use fresh bleach is uh, make more stamps ourselves. <gasps> oh, finally, I knew it was gonna come and haunt us eventually. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? What? I'm just gonna do some little dots of bleach. Oh, yeah. Around it, you know? Now yeah. I don't wanna do a brush. I wanna do something more precise. How can I precisely place the bleach? All right, look at that, guys. Chaos is like properly established right there. It is. But I feel like I need, because I um, spilled a little bit, I feel like I need to apply some more bleach. I don't know the best way to do it. I could just get a little bit on the edge of a circle and do it yeah, here. Do it there too, yeah. Okay. Wait, wait, wait. do it on the, um, do it with the exclamation. Oh, yeah, 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 because then I have space. You have space. Smart, smart, smart. Yeah. Okay, guys, we're going rogue. Right here, let me, uh, PTZ, there you go. She's gonna try to balance it out. Balance chaos with order. <laughs> I was almost too full of order. Yeah, you know? No. There you go. No! It's not good. It's too precise. I'm going in with the finger. <laughs> this really shows the true chaos of the making of this chaos booty shorts. Did that mess it up properly? Now, it kind of looks like it's like wiggling, <laughs> you know, like <laughs> movement lines. <laughs> No, what were you going to say? People are saying it looks like a butt outline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, you could do some like fling drops maybe. No. no. I mean, like, it's so clean otherwise. Yeah. I think, I think it might be good on the yeah. back. Now I am open to adding a little something on the front. Um, do, but we're running out of new stuff to some do. Some people were saying kukwa there because that was a, a pocket tweet. <laughs> the thing is, the tiny letters aren't going to show no, up, no, and the no, paintbrush no. bleeds. Tiny, 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 tiny letters really don't work. Um, I might just leave it, honestly. Yeah. I think I'm pretty happy with it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. There you go. There we go. Yeah. We did it, baby. Pew. Yeah. Looks good. Looks good. Looks good. I don't. I think I'm going to let it keep going a little bit before I lock it in. Yeah. And now I think that <gasps> we just. What? You need to lock this in. It's getting oh, too light. Oh, guys. It's getting too light. It's going to eat through it. <laughs> okay. All right. I'm going to dunk this in right dunk now. It, dunk it. Dunk it. Dunk it. All right. We're going to dunk these, let them soak, and then we'll do the reveal in just a little bit. Yes. Hey. 
<laughs> Look at you. So, shirt number one. <laughs> what do I like? I like the paw prints. I especially like the ones coming out of the pocket. Mm -hmm. That's cool. That's a sneaky little feature. What I don't like is the font and the spacing of the font. <laughs> it does look a bit childish, but that's not totally your fault. The font is essentially Comic Sans. So, yeah. You know, but I do really like these. You, you could have stopped there and it would have been great. <laughs> <laughs> but this is good too. I agree. <laughs> Come on in, baby. Ta-da! Pretty awesome. It's that, pretty cute. That's a winner, I think. I feel like I did a pretty good job on my sleeves, making yeah. it look like the stripes go all the way around. The face is pretty cute, albeit a bit off center, but like, I kind of like it. I think it's fun. Yeah. I think that's a win. I think, cause you were going for something that like, <laughs> doesn't look like a kid made it. I think that's the biggest difference. <laughs> good job. Thank you. All right, ready? I love it. <laughs> I especially love the message. Like, that's cute. I love the little paw print. It's a, it's a theme that makes sense. It's a theme that makes sense. Boom, it's not overdone. <laughs> now, I wish that it was a little bit more legible, but it tells a story. We did the best we could. It tells a story. Maybe like, I just might need a cat dad hat that's embroidered. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> that might be better. We did it, we made it embroidered cat dad hat. Sure, it's more legible than our bleach dye one. Sure, it's not surrounded by Sharpie, but we did trace the letters to make it match the best we could. Paw print is on the back. Get it at shopevanandcaitlin.com. Ready to look at my butt? Chaos! Chaos butt! Team Chaos! That is epic. Like right? you, you really killed it. With I think like, it's really like, cute. Especially with the, the, the um, the, the stripes sleeves. here? It's kind of like, like sporty. It kind of matches. <laughs> You're yeah. like Team Chaos. Kaylin, you came up with a cohesive, wonderful theme. I love it. Do we both look like we're obsessed with cats? Yes. And chaos. <laughs> but wait, there's one more um, outfit I do want to try on. There you go. Oh, yeah. The rejects even get a little, like, time to shine. Look at that. Yes. What's she wearing? I don't know. It's Who's a little bit she confusing. Wearing? <laughs> Red carpet. <laughs> <laughs> Love that. Well, I feel like we learned so much on this journey. I don't feel like we're done no. with our bleach, like, journey. <laughs> journey. I didn't want to use that word again, but I hope you'll continue walking along this windy journey, and sometimes dangerous path that we're on. <laughs>